Jennifer Hyman, number five in white for Syracuse, running the show. And a turnover, Kubai comes up with it, and she is capable of bringing the ball up by herself, finds Lutman in mid-stride. Well, what Georgia Tech does is they keep you from, from running your stuff. I mean, they're really disruptive. They're very disciplined on the defensive end of the floor, and that's a great take by Hyman inside. Kubai. Looking inside to Hermosa. You can just see the height advantage, and it works right over Christiana Carr. And another turnover, it's Lottman. And that is one of the things that she can do is. So we see the adjustment Styles. by Syracuse. We see the adjustment, they're bringing that weak side, heavy, heavy help inside. The skip and the seal are gonna be open. Well, Syracuse you can hang 43 your hat. points. Go ahead. Yeah, and, and, and you can hang your hat on your defense. You're always gonna give yourself a chance as Hyman knocks down that three. Syracuse in this quarter. This is one of those possessions, Pam, where, where Kubai has to get deeper position. That's a great pass and, and a good three. It, it, they, if they can dictate tempo, if they can take shots late in the shot clock, and then give themselves opportunities with the offensive rebound as Kubai uses the pivot, you want your team to be, to be motivated and ready. Mimosa, there you go. No rest for the weary here. There's the upcoming schedule as you see that Louisville game slated to be on ESPN on the sixth. There's a shot. Georgia Tech led from the very beginning, actually led before any time was off the clock.